In the case of ulcerative colitis, in many cases, it is possible to cure the disease with surgery. However, in few cases of ulcerative colitis, complications can occur after an operation such as an iliopile channel anastomosis, which might require operation to correct uh, those dysfunctions. And in some cases, few patients can develop complications that make it more similar to Crohn's disease and require medications for inflammatory bowel disease. With respect to Crohn's disease, surgery does not cure the condition and so does not eliminate Crohn's disease for good, but rather helps and alleviates the effects of the complications of disease. For example, a patient could have a narrowing in a segment of bowel and after resection of that segment of bowel, the patient could resume being able to eat without any abdominal pain. This is not something that will remove Crohn's disease, but certainly will improve a lot the quality of life of that particular patient. In the case of ulcerative colitis, most of the times, the patient should not have flare-ups. However, there are certain conditions which can occur, and particularly a condition called pouchitis, which in some ways mimic the flare-ups of ulcerative colitis and generally responds well to antibiotics. In the case of Crohn's disease, flare-ups can and do occur and that is why it is very critical that any patient who has surgery follows up with gastroenterology to understand if they need medications and which medications they are mostly benefiting from, and as well discuss with the gastroenterologist the surveillance, what kind of tests need to be done during the follow-up. Generally, we can treat these conditions with minimal invasive surgery, most commonly robotic surgery, and uh, following uh, these procedures, the patient stays generally in the hospital two or three days until they resume their bowel function and they are able to eat and move around and control their pain without uh, uh, a lot of medications. After that, they can be discharged home they have some minimal limitations to their diet for two weeks, and then they can eat anything they can and they want. As far as physical activity, generally we recommend avoiding any heavy physical activity for about six weeks, and after that the patients are basically considered back to their baseline. With respect to ulcerative colitis, uh, most patients, uh, and especially young patients, are candidate for iliopile channel anastomosis, and generally the long term is five or six bowel movements over 24 hours on average, one at night on average, and no need for medications. A small proportion of patients might benefit from having a pad during the night if they're concerned or they experience small leakages. Perhaps the greatest benefit to patients associated with this disease and their treatment is that they can delay their trip to the bathroom. They can feel they need to go to the bathroom to have a bowel movement, but they have time to comfortably reach the bathroom and to do not have to rush to the bathroom.